Sometimes people have this kind of what I would understand is referred to as modalism. They would kind of say, well, their understanding of the Trinity in a sense is like there's one God and sometimes he acts like the Father and sometimes he acts like the Holy Spirit and sometimes he acts like the Son. So explain that to yeah. people because I think well, let's say people base... confuse themselves a lot with that. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. In, in a word, uh, that's heresy because that would mean that there's only one independent interior subjective domain in God which we do not hold. We hold that there is one nature in God, one, in the, one power source, one act of existing right, uh, in God, but there, there are three independent interior subjective domains in God. So there are three independent self-consciousnesses which are generated out of the one infinite power source that use the one infinite power source, right? They're not three gods. There are three independent subjective interior dispositions in, generated out of and making use of the one uh, power, infinite unrestricted power source, the one uh, power source of will, the one power source of, of intellect, the one power source right, of love, the one power source of, of everything, right? But there are three subjective dispositions making use of that power, and so of course they are in love. So there's real interpersonal love in the Trinity. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a single God acting like a father, acting like right. a son, acting like the Holy Spirit. One single subjective disposition acting like Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There are three uh, independent subjective dispositions who are in love with each other. Uh, and of course, uh, obviously, not just modally, right. they are in love with each other as independent persons. Okay.